Hi, how are you, Bill? Good, how are you? Well, how are you? Good, thank you. Good, good to see you both. Thank, thank you. you. And, and enjoyed watching your series. It definitely made me hungry and uh, want to learn how to bake. In fact, some of us just now we're showing off different things. Best thing I could do is a uh, already made pop tart, but oh, <laughs> it is good. Good to go. Just to start with you, uh, I know you talk about in the show how you like to bake at home, and just talk about a little bit how you do that, and then also what got you into wanting to do this series. Well, my love for baking began when I was about sixteen. My mom, she used to always bake growing up. And for me, there's nothing like the smell of baking cookies in a house. Mm -hmm. So now that I'm, you know, grown, I have kids of my own. I, I, I want to keep that tradition going. Mm -hmm. So I started baking on my own. At first it was the, you know, Pillsbury mm -hmm. pre-made, you know, cookie right. dough, the Duncan Hines box cake, you know, the lemon box cake. I, as I got older, I was like, I want to know how to do this from scratch. And yeah. as you'll probably hear, you know, watching the, the show, Bill, you know, said, there's nothing like fresh ingredients. And it's very, very true. And so I started baking more cakes from scratch, cookies from scratch, cupcakes from scratch. And I've always had this dream of hosting a baking show and I manifested it and boom. Yes. <laughs> I am. And I got to host an amazing one with Bill. I was going to say it was, it was just delicious always to look at. Bill, tell me a little bit about, I mean, some of the things that the people were making on this show. I mean, one, and this isn't giving anything away, like even that little globe, you know, thing that the one guy was making that looked like the earth. Uh -huh. it, it was. I was going to say, talk a little bit about, you know, some of the other things that you got to see. Yeah, well, I, I was one of the cool things is uh, some very sophisticated uh, use of chocolate. Mm -hmm. So chocolate is one of my favorite ingredients. And it's uh, it's something that can really be very magical, like his globe and like many other uh, contestants who had learned on their own how to temper chocolate, which means like get it to this state where it's brittle and shiny and perfect and you can make very thin, delicate uh, surfaces that are easy to kind of crack open. So the, the chocolate work on the show was really exciting. Um, th there's just so much variety. We start out with, as you know, 13 contestants, and then um, they just came up with wildly different mm -hmm. ideas for each challenge. And that's, so one of the things about this show that I think is so much fun is that you have so many finished images of cakes and desserts mm -hmm. in each episode. I mean, there's got to be like 24, besides all the activity, the finished product, there's at least like 24 or 30 finished pieces that are all unique. And that's what really made it exciting. I oh, yeah. And to talk a little bit about this. I mean, everybody, we see all the contestants, they're all smiling at each other, everybody looks happy. But there was, I'm quite sure, some heavy duty competition going on between them. True, but I feel like that's what makes this show, you know, so much fun to watch. It's mm -hmm. it's it's positive. It's it's mm -hmm. warm. It's it's funny. Yes, there was that underlining, uh, you know, competition going on. But what Bill and I loved seeing is the camaraderie. Yeah. We mm -hmm. actually would help each other sometimes. If you saw someone, you know, uh, not have enough flour or they were having you know a, a little bit of a you know a trouble a another contestant would jump right in and you know help them ultimately i think what i saw is you know they were they were yeah competing but they were up against themselves mm -hmm. you know they they were in this new space and they wanted to make sure that they did the best that they could. And I think that's what makes this show not only aesthetically pleasing, it's, it's, it's pleasing for the soul. Mm -hmm. And it was pleasing for us <laughs> with yeah, our taste buds. They, they really saying. bonded. Mm -hmm. we, we saw that many times. They bonded and, and helped each other. One contestant, I remember she was saying, she, they were both sifting flour. And, and she said, this is a sift off. And I just won. 
<laughs> Gosh. And then I know I'm coming up on the end of time, but Bill, you also had been uh, the maker of all the sweets in the White House, at least for the Bush administration and the Obamas. Real quick, what was Bush's favorite sweet and what was Obama's favorite sweet? Oh, that's easy. Uh, President Obama, I'll start with Obama. Uh, he, he loved pie, like yeah. an inordinate amount. He loved it. <laughs> we, we had, we had, he had to be restrained. But, um, and fruit pies, any kind of pie. Um, for President Bush, he never met a dessert he didn't like. Uh, it was like cakes, pies, ice cream, you name it. Um, I think in the end, both men, you know, probably the only thing they really agree on is uh, they really like traditional desserts, cobblers, fruit-based desserts, uh -huh. chocolate cake, um, all the basics. Gosh, now I want an apple cobbler. But thank you both very much for the time. And again, uh, my wife and I really enjoyed watching this series and look forward to having it continue along. So thanks Great. so much. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. You got it. Take care.